Hi guys, welcome to the fourth moment weekly roundup. My name is Shamil and this is where we look at all the South uh, Cape Town Regional Men's League fixtures and results that happened over the weekend and also the ABC Mutsepe, obviously in both streams A and B. And uh, this weekend, yeah, quite an exciting weekend of football. Uh, third division, we know we had double headers, so there was quite a lot of matches um, being played uh, over the weekend. But uh, we're first going to do the third division and uh, check out all the results, or some of the results that stood out. As I said, quite a few games. So from last week, um, I think it was on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, there was a match there between, it was the 3rd of Feb, between FC Hood Bay and Greenwood Athletic. That match uh, stopped 13 minutes uh, in the first half because of... Uh, Two light bulbs that were out at IY Sports Field in Oat Bay. Um, so that match had to be abandoned. Uh, but the Friday night, the match between, uh, well, the match that Oat Bay played, they actually continued. So obviously the problem was sorted out there. So yes, so uh, FC Oat Bay and Greenwood Athletic not playing there on Thursday. Then uh, the next match there was on the Friday evening, if I'm not mistaken. It was Vasco and Premier Prima. Uh, Vasco beating Premier United 3-0 there. Uh, well done there by the Vasco guys. And then uh, also some of the other games, Goal 50 and Bayview. Bayview um, winning uh, Goal 50 there 2-1. That's a good result for Bayview, uh, looking at the good season that uh, Goal 50's had thus far. Uh, other results, uh, Cape Town City beating Junction Rovers 5-4. That's also a good result there for uh, Coach Nevin Payne and the young boys there, getting one over Junction Rovers, the more experienced side. Uh, Cape Town United and Jamestown. Jamestown, Coach Marawan Bantam getting one over there. Um, in Langa, beating Cape Town United 1-0. Um, Log Leaders, obviously, uh, Hanover Park running away with the league at the moment. I think they're like 10 points clear, if I'm not mistaken. They beat Cape Omoyo last week. Uh, close result, though, 2-1. Uh, so, couldn't have been that easy for them. Uh, some of the other matches there, just going through it. Uh, Matros Fontaine and Vasco, I think that was on the Sunday. Remember, double headers were played there. Um, Matros Fontaine beating Vasco 7-3, 10 goal thriller happening there at uh, Ellsbury Park. Uh, some of the other games that looked tight there was goal 50 and Capo Moyo uh, drawing 3 all. So that was uh, quite a tough match there. Um, just looking at some results in Nova Park uh, playing last night uh, or playing on Thursday night. Um, sorry, Wednesday night, 3-0 beating Cape Town City there, 3-0 at Nova Park and obviously stretching the lead uh, in the log. So yeah, a lot of exciting things happening in the third division at the moment. Uh, obviously, catch-up games and things like that. Just jumping to the log, we're just going to go over the top five. Uh, as I said, Nova Park right in front there on 34 points. And their closest rivals is Goal 50, uh, who's on 24 points, 10 points behind. Third place is Woodlands. Uh, then we've got Greenwood. Now remember, Greenwood's got that game in hand there. So they're sitting on 23 points. And then uh, Cape Town City in uh, fifth place uh, with 22 points. And uh, yeah, the rest of the guys follow there. Just looking at the fixtures coming up for, uh, for this weekend. So yeah, no double header. So uh, just uh, one game for, for the clubs this weekend. Um, on the 11th here, we've got Vasco in Jamestown. That's on Friday night. Um, that's obviously at Perro Park. Premier United hosting Ocean View. That's going to be a tough game. Uh, Ocean View having a, a, a crazy game or a fantastic game in the week. Uh, beating Trinis 5-4 and I think they were behind and they came to win that game. So apparently that was a very exciting game. Everybody that was there gave good accounts of that match. Then um, Woodlands hosting a Nova Park. Uh, that's going to be a tough game there where the two buddies, Coach Zari and Coach Andrew, are doing battle. Uh, some of the other matches, Cape Town United hosting Hout Bay. Cape Town City hosting Goal 50. Trinis and Junction Rovers, that's going to be a, a tough game. That game is at Eitzig. And then... Um, Blue Gum not having a good season. I think they're bottom of the log at the moment. Uh, they're hosting Greenwood. So one should ex would expect that Greenwood uh, would get the win there. But you never know. Blue Gum also had a, uh, not a bad result earlier in the week. So just looking at... The, um, yeah, so that's basically the fixtures there. That's the third division um, for this week. And uh, yeah, so let's just have a look at the ABC Mutsepe. Let's look at the stream A. Uh, result day on Saturday. Uh, Grossi Park and McQueenie Sundowns, they played to a one all draw at William Herbert. Uh, we were at that match and um, the second half was more exciting than the first. Um, the, the, the pitch was very thick, um, it made it difficult to, for the guys to pass the ball around. It looked like both sides actually wanted to do that. But um, don't take my word for it, listen to the coaches, this is what they had to say about the match. Coach Richard? Yes, sir. Uh, you just came back at the death there to draw the game 1-0. What was your feelings about the game? 
Uh, our feeling about the game is, uh, first of all, when we came, we saw the pitch is very heavy. If it is not cut properly, it's one of the concern also. Secondly, I think we have a slight problem on the game on yesterday. I think that also affect the way we play. Is it? Yeah. When you say slight problem, is internal problem, football problem? Uh, it is football problem. We we, uh, we lose certain players that uh, okay. it affects the camp. That uh, yeah. the moment they heard the story of the players, then okay. it became a problem to us. Okay. Anything else about the game? You guys did very well to come back. Uh, yeah. Did you think you were always in it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we were there, but uh, overall performance is not the way we, we play compared from our last game. Okay. Because. Uh, I know what my boys can do okay. and I know that definitely before the whistle blow, we yeah. got a hope because you can see the changes that we make, mm. uh, they, they're trying to bring the, take the temper high and we know definitely we will come up in the game. Yeah, you guys have been doing well this season, yeah. uh, what's your feelings for the rest of the season? Uh, we, 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 you know, being the top five, we, go, we say we are going for the league. Okay. Uh, uh, 13, uh, 12 games more to go, mm. anything is possible. Mm. Uh, Football is football, you're not yeah. going to tell. Uh, they used to say football can kill you, you're not going to know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, us dropping a two point here, yeah. this is not our plan. But, uh, you know, the future looks bright for us. And uh, I think uh, the, the first time in the season, uh, being the top uh, five, mm. and we still playing well playing, yeah. compared to the players we have. Then other teams have top uh, class players, and we are bringing players, unknowing players. Mm. I think the future looks bright for us. Okay, well done, Coach. Yeah. Look, well done. Very spirited performance. Good comeback. And all the best for the rest of the Thank season. You. Thank you. I appreciate you. a lot. Thank you. Coach Gordon, you just finished the match now, leading 1-0 for most of the second half. And uh, to lose it out, lose the two points to make a draw, how was your feeling about the game? Yeah, I think overall it was a, it was a good, good game. Um, it was a game where we basically had dominance um, from the start. Um, we basically had uh, most of the position in the first half. Um, we played the mom different moments well, whether in defence, um, in midfield or in attacking third. Um, but the difficult thing was uh, to put the ball in the net. Um, the second half, the second half, we, we, we obviously in the first half we made, made some early changes. Um, we had a few injuries with the unders, so obviously we were allowed to, to make those substitutions because this game was basically a six-pointer. So, um, the plan was to make the, the, the changes early as we, our right back, Liam, April was struggling with the injury. Okay. Um, and then obviously we took him off and took the other unders mm -hmm. off also. Um, the unders played last week and they did very well. Mm -hmm. So obviously they've been, you know, that is our, um, my way of developing them, okay. give them game time. Um, but um, the game in the second half, it became like a, a two off. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they brought them some fresh legs and, mm -hmm and that actually brought them back into the game. Um, but we had numerous chances in the second half even to finish the game off. And, and that is football, you know. Um, I, will, I will say at the end this is one that, that got away. Um, I think the, the three points was there for the taking, but uh, like I said, you know, yeah. goals will win games. And well done to them um, yeah, on, uh, on the end to come back and, yeah. and get the equaliser. Yeah. Look, like you say, you guys had plenty of chances. Yes, yeah. you had most of the first half. Second half, like you say, yes, yeah. it was um, more open, yeah. put it that way. Um, your defence though, uh, yeah. guys like Wayne, AJ, yeah. uh, Dylan, I mean, they stood firm. And I, I yeah. would say, or would you, what would you say about them actually making sure till the end that, you know, you had the three points? Yeah, I, th I think what, what actually happened, um, it's not actually the defence, you know, the ball, it, it, was a, it was a moment where we were in the um, attacking third, mm. you know, in our, in, the, in, in the, so we didn't play that moment well, because we should have just kept the ball there and, and, okay. and, 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 and you know, let um, the, the clock run, but then they gained possession and obviously the Ita was, Ita was a counter and they outnumber our, our, our right back. Um, and basically put in a good cross um, and, and it was, um, the finish was a quality, I must say, yeah. because I mean, being a, f a forward, um, they played forward, I mean, that was quality. He, yeah. um, our goalkeeper is quite good, but I mean, he managed to beat, to beat him also. Yeah. So that was, that was a good finish. Okay, look, uh, you still got a point. Yeah. Um, you're doing well at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Lockbush is looking, looking good. Yeah. And uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, no, thanks, thanks a lot, man. And well, thanks for, for having some time to come and yeah. watch our game. No problem. It was good, yeah. Thank no you. Yeah, so that was the two coaches there um, of Grassy Park and McQueen in Sundowns. Then other results there, Hans Bay and uh, Black Cats. Hans Bay winning 3-1. Uh, Santos and Zizwe playing to a 0-0 draw, um, that's a, a, a fair result there. Then Royal Blues and Ubuntu, Royal Blues winning 3-2.
and uh, Cape Town Spurs and Clarewood doing battle on Friday night at the Kampfer. So obviously Clarewood are streaming their matches, so we all, if we were watching that match, would have known that uh, Clarewood were behind 2-0 half-time and uh, a dramatic comeback there in winning the game 3-2. Um, that goal of Thurlow would, um, I think that was to equalize or take them up, um, that was a stunner uh, from way outside the box. Um, so have a look on uh, Clearwood, uh, Clearwood JPM FC's Facebook page if you want to check out that goal. Uh, but yeah, great win there for Clearwood coming back from the death and winning 3-2. Just looking at the logs there quickly in stream A. Uh, were still top at 23 points of the 9 games. Ubuntu close on the heels, uh, 19 points in 2nd place. Clearwood 16 in 3rd place. Grossi Park 4th uh, place, 16 points. And Mbukwini Sundowns, 12 points in 5th spot there. Yeah, so that was Stream A. Stream B, we had uh, Langebaan and uh, Cape Town FC Hotspurs, where the way guys uh, beat Langebaan 6 0. No? So it looks like uh, the Hotspurs guys with Coach Dylan Dean, and uh, they probably have the scoring boots on now. So well done to them. Um, Trojan and Police doing battle there with Trojan winning 3 1. Norway Parks and Martis, that was a 2 all draw. Um, out at Royal Road and then obviously the big match in stream B of the week and last week was FN Rangers and Glen Glen Dean uh, the you know the top two in that league at the moment and that was a one all draw um, out at Royal Road and then Hout Bay uh, like we said beating Ikapa 4-1 uh, on Friday night so that's stream B there just looking at the logs um, for stream B we've got uh, Glen Dean top still top obviously FN Rangers in second place both on 23 points out Bay 3rd, uh, Trojan 4th and Norway Parks on 5th place. So the last thing to do is just to give you the fixtures for the weekend. These are obviously for both streams. So Joma Power was hosting Royal Blues, Hans Bay hosting Cape Town Spurs, um, Black Cats hosting Santos, these way going to Ubuntu. That's going to be a, a tough game there. Um, Obviously, Zizwe in top spot at the moment, like we said, and uh, Ubuntu in second. So either Zizwe gets the win and extends the leads, or Ubuntu gets the win and uh, closes the gaps, or it's a draw and then everything stays the same. And then we have McQueen Sundowns going to William Herbert and playing um, Clearwood. Um, yeah, that's for stream A and then stream B. Martis against Glen Dean, uh, Trojan hosting Hotspurs, uh, Ikapa hosting Langeban. Even Rangers and Norway Parks, so we got another derby there at Royal Road, and then Hout Bay and Police. Yeah, so that's all the fixtures uh, for both streams. Um, very quick roundup this week, uh, but yeah, um, make sure you look, check out our Facebook page and follow the website www.thefourthmoment.co.za for all the uh, results and fixtures and updated logs. And uh, not forgetting, we got to thank uh, Laura Sport for obviously uh, being our partners and helping us bring you this content. And yeah, in this, if there's anything on the roundup you want to see, uh, we, you know, we want to get players, we want to get guys on, on, on the show to actually talk about the matches and stuff. Anything else, uh, inbox us, uh, yeah, post it in the comments. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.